Please don't explode right now. Oh, I don't know that. So today I wanted to do another really stupid thing. What I have here is the Argus 720 watt power supply from Intertech. Just a random PSU without cable management, nothing fancy, not even black cables. But what is special about it is the price, something around 30 bucks. And a feature that usually comes with such a price is an extremely cheap fan. Now, this power supply is not particularly loud compared to the stuff you'll get on AliExpress, but it is still really hearable. Now, if you find yourself in a situation where you have a PSU that is extremely loud, maybe even OEM stuff, and you don't have a 60, 70, 80 euro budget to spend on a new high-end device, maybe you have a 20 euro budget to buy a fan. So what I will try today is take this cheap ass power supply, crack it open and try to somehow fit this Noctua NFF12 in there. But before I will do that, we will short out the 24 pin and try to record the actual noise it emits with the mic and with this little... Yeah. And with this little dB meter, even though I would trust the mic way more than this little thing. Okay, so now where we have the sound, let's open this up and try to not die while doing this. So while I'm working on this, a few important things. Do, do not repeat this. This is dumb. I am doing this because I have nothing else to review right now. Anyway, the usual power supplies are not that hard to open. Just a few screws and the metal cage should come apart. Now an issue that will come up in a second is that power supply fans are usually run with only a positive and negative connection, so a 2-pin. And that's basically just hitting the fan really hard and then adjusting with the voltage. And this Noxia fan I have right here, it's a 4-pin PVM connection, so it is run with a pulse. But from my understanding, I should be able to hit the positive and the negative of the fan and that should theoretically let the fan run at full speed or maybe even let it adjust with the voltage. But we will find that out in a second. Now, if this doesn't work for obvious reasons, I still have a Be Quiet Silent Wing 2 3 pin. So whatever happens, this should work. Another issue with this is that I don't have a 4 or 3 to 2 pin adapter. So I will never be able to adapt this thing to the fan. So this will end up being me just fiddling around with wires until this will work somehow. So again, especially when I'm when I start to fiddle around with the wires. This is a do as I say, not as I do channel. And just don't do it. So a little interesting thing is that on power supplies, cheap power supplies at least, you usually end up with a fan with this little plastic piece. And I just don't get why it is. It is just emitting noise, it has no real purpose, and it is blocking any airflow going down on the on the left side where actually there is a heatsink so this just doesn't make sense i do not know if there is this piece of plastic on higher end power supplies and i won't i, I really don't want to open one but uh, anyway the fan we will put in here doesn't have it so i really don't care for it but anyway so now we have removed everything and we ended up with these two little wires and a two pin connection here which is glued I hope you can see this which is glued down to the PCB so I don't have to rip the connector off because I don't have an adapter anyway but what I will do is just cut those two cables like this and use my little uh, yeah PVM to wires adapter, which I prepared, and just connect the Noctua fan and then just play around with the cables until, until the fan starts spinning. So again, please don't repeat this. This is not the most elegant way to do anything. Okay, everything is set up. Let's start the power supply again. 
And I just cannot repeat this enough. Do not do this. Open power supply and then fiddling around in it is, is such a bad idea. But we were doing this for science, so I really don't care. Nope. We have a winner! Okay, so these two cables are basically useless. This is negative, this is positive. Just turn this off. Okay, so I found everything and now I would usually I would solder these together, but unfortunately I have nothing to solder right here in the studio. So I will do something that is even dumber. I will just glue them and then duct tape or glue. I will just like fill them together and then put some duct tape on them. Which is really the worst way of doing this, but I don't have anything else right now, so this will have to do it. But for anybody who is really dumb enough to repeat this, if you're already doing this, solder them together and then put some nice little protection on there so that your power supply doesn't explode at any moment. Okay, everything is wired up. This should theoretically work. So let's connect everything back and hope that this doesn't explode. Please don't explode right now. Oh, I'm not dead. Okay, so now I am still alive. Let's shut this off and put it back together and then do another sound test. This should not be too hard to put back together because fortunately it was a 120 fan that was in there and I'm putting another 120 fan on there. So perfect match right away. Okay. Everything is ready. Let's try to not die again. Okay. Up, go back. Stay. So, I would really love to show this in numbers, but unfortunately I did not read the dB meter output at the time, so I will just put the two decibel amounts on the screen. Here we will have the original and here we will have the new one. But what I'm able to do is give a perception on what do I hear. And I'm not hearing anything at all. Anyway, even though these numbers are nice to have, I do not trust them. So let's play both sound files again. And what I can say from me sitting right next to this PSU is you cannot hear it at all anymore. It is super quiet. The sound is totally gone. I do not know if that happened because I removed that little plastic piece that wasn't there. This one. But there is no way I'm putting this back in. But it works. It's super quiet. You can't hear it at all. It's great. And as expected, extreme difference. You can't hear anything. And if we count everything together, we spent 50 euros, 30 on the PSU, 20 on the fan inside. And if we take a look at higher brand PSUs, there is still a 15-20 euro gap to the first models rocking 700 watts. But then again, who in his right mind would void the warranty, risk potential damage to yourself and anything else in the rig, just to save a couple of bucks and a couple of decibels. But even though hopefully nobody will do this, it works. At least we learn something. Anyway, with my point proven, it is time to wrap this up. I would really appreciate if you could tell me what you think about this whatever I did here, and leave your opinion with a thumb up, thumb down, or comment in the comment section below. But don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications button to get notified when we do another really random and weird video. Anyway, I hope to see you on the next one, but until then, have a look at one of these totally random videos.